Okay, so I did a video on iDOS 2 the other day, uh, which is basically playing DOS games on an M1 Mac, an iPad, or an iPhone. At the time, I didn't know how to get the folders mounted uh, on the Mac because it deals with it in a different way. It's actually easier on an iPad and an iPhone initially, but I have worked out how to do it, and so I'll show you how to do it now. But also, I've got an Xbox One controller paired, and I've also got, this is just a USB stick in here with a few ROMs and things on it. So let's have a look. Okay, so first up, you're gonna need a folder. Now I'm just gonna put it on the desktop because I think it's gonna be easier for this video. And I'm gonna call it IDOS. So new folder, tap on the folder name and type in IDOS. Now if we open IDOS 2, and then we need to put some games in this IDOS folder. So I've got some on this USB stick. Uh, so if I go and have a look through where I've stored them, so in here, so something like Micro Machines is a good example because it's a long folder name. So what I'm going to do is drag that into the IDOS folder. And I'm also going to drag in a cross. There you go. Uh, so that's two folders in there now. If I open up the IDOS folder, you can see they're there. So I need to mount that, and this was the bit that was really tricky, because uh, on the iPad and the iPhone, I showed it in the video, there's just a separate folder in your Files app. But on this one, it's actually better in a way because you can mount and unmount whenever you want. Hit View and go to Portrait Orientation. And here you can see you get a different view, and this is really meant more for touchscreen, but it works really well for this case. So if I click on the floppy disk here and click Folder, and I just need to navigate to a folder. So if I go desktop, you can see I've got this IDOS one I've just created. Hit open. And on the screen you can see drive D is mounted as local directory. So if we press D colon enter and then DIR, that will show us the contents of that folder. So, but you can see Micro Machines uh, has got a tilde in it uh, and I like to avoid that. So I'm gonna change that by going into the IDOS folder and I'm just gonna change it to micro and then M. So micro M. And I'm also gonna have a look in the folder at the .exe file and see that it's nice and short as well. And it is that micro.exe, perfect. So now if I click back in IDOS and go DIR, I can go back to the, the big screen view now. So landscape and go full screen. So you can see I've got across and micro m so if i do cd micro m to access that folder and then dir to have a look what's in it uh, i already know that it's called micro to launch the file so micro now i'm not sure if my controller works with this one i've just turned it on uh, it's an xbox one controller just keep pressing enter to get past this bit uh, oh, here we are, look, we've got F7 configure joystick, although my joystick's not working at the moment. So let's go into settings and just check why it's not showing up as Bluetooth. It should be, unless, oh no, I've had it paired, I've had it paired with my iPad, so let's pair that. So on the Xbox controller, I'm pressing the Bluetooth pairing button and that should show up. Here we go, I'm going to hit connect. So now I have controller support, go back into IDOS. So I paired the joystick, so if I, if I go up to the top here, tap somewhere near the top of the screen without going all the way up to the top, you get this menu. I can click on Bluetooth and I can choose what my keys are. So if I press left and right, you can see my joystick is going and up and down and also the analog joystick as well. So it's picked up my controller, but at the moment, all the left buttons, the right buttons are all doing control space, F1 and Alt. I just need to work out what button selects, um, so it'll be the one that does accelerate as well. So if I come out of that and I redefine the keys, so let's go F5, so function F5, and let's go left, right, I'm gonna do A for accelerate and Z for break and return for select. And let's just press one, two, three, four, because we don't need those. So the one I need to uh, make sure I define on the joypad is just the A button. So let's tap near the top, press on the Bluetooth. And so I'm gonna use this button and I'm gonna make that A. So press the button and then I'm gonna press A on here. There you go, so A is mapped now. So I think I've got everything. So let's hit save. 
So you can see I'm set for keys because the joystick is using the keyboard really. So it means that any game that works with keyboard will work with this. So let's press return to start. Let's pick one player. Not the best start. There you go. So I've got left and right and the accelerate's working fine. Right, so let's try something else. Let's just hit escape, see what happens there. And there you go, that takes us out. And then back to that. So CD space dot dot will take us back here and DIR will show us uh, the across folder for instance. So let's do across, and I'll use the keyboard for this game because I'm used to using it with the keyboard. CD across and DIR. And another command that's worthwhile is uh, dir star dot exe, and that's only going to show us the exe files. Now it's not important on this game because, as you can see, all of the files are showing. But if you have one where there's loads and loads of files and loads of pages of files, it's a good way of just getting the exe files. So you can see these are, so across is the one I would need to use. Well that's never happened before. So. Okay, so for some reason that didn't work, but I'm going to go back in again and give it another try. So let's mount. I've got a different folder. I've got an IDOS folder and a DOS folder. I'm going to mount the DOS folder this time. So folder. Desktop and DOS. You can see I've got a few more games in that one. So uh, that's mounted as D. So D colon DIR. CD across and DIR and then the EXE file is across. Yeah, and that's worked fine. I don't know why the other one wasn't working, but let's just go straight back into that and just show you that it's working and also I can go full screen on this as well. Oh, let's uh, concentrate what I'm doing. So let's go landscape. So now it's full screen. There you go, and you can see that that's working fine. So let's quit out of that and uh, have a look again and do one more game. So CD dot dot to go back. DIR. So one of the ones that I uh, shrunk the size of, this was a much longer file name, Sensible World of Soccer. So uh, CD SWOS DIR. Ah, so this has got a load of, uh, well, the, the file is in there, um, but uh, I could do that page by page or use the DIR star dot exe, but I'm going to do DIR dot forward slash P and you can see it does it page by page, second page and third page, which it has, no, it's in the fourth page. There you go, so SWS is there. So let's type in SWS, and Sensible World of Soccer should launch. I think it's Sensible World of Soccer, it's definitely a Sensible Soccer. For some reason the sound didn't work on this. There is a way of getting better quality sound, and it's written on the site uh, as to how to import a different sound driver or something. Let's pick up my controller and see if that's doing anything. Oh yeah, that seemed to... So for some reason, the left button is the select button. Now, if I... Let's go full screen, tap at the top, and see what that button is. So control is the select button. So I want to make this button control. So if I press and hold A, and then press the control button down here, there you go. So I've mapped control to there. I could put this one as A uh, if I wanted to, so that the left trigger on the Xbox controller and do that as A, just in case I need A, I don't think I would do. Uh, and then save that, hit OK. So I can press A now. Oh, it was, it was left button. So I need to go back up to the top and the left button was a different one. So tap at the top. So the one I should have been mapping was space. So let's press that button and then press the space bar. There you go. And this one, uh, let's do this as control. So that's left trigger and we'll map that to control. 
Some of these you obviously won't need, so I've got all of these are mapped now, so as I press the buttons you can see that it, it recognizes everything, the analog joystick and so on. So let's hit save, and now can I choose, yeah, now I can choose teams. Club teams, Europe, England, Premier League, maybe different players in the in the Premier League at the moment. Let's go uh, Liverpool, Wimbledon, and play friendly. There you can go, you can see the name of the teams. Vinnie Jones is in there, look. 650k. Now, I haven't tried this, but I'm guessing it's going to be all right. Because it was just the up, down, left, right arrows. Oh, I've selected the wrong option. I did this before. So, exit. There is an option. I don't, I don't think it was the same on the Amiga, um, but I've, I've just basically done it that I'm uh, managing. Choose teams, club teams. Let's go just for something random. So I just want to be player, I want to be player coach, I want it to be purple. Play friendly, okay. Oh, similar kits, both <laughs> green pitch, two green kits, nice combination. Sorry if you've got color blindness. You probably can't see anything on this. So yeah, that's working now. It's lightning fast. Oh, terrible tackle. That was good though. A nice. Oh, I still think this was a better version on the Amiga. Oh, let's go full. Why have I not gone full screen? Let's go full screen. You can see performance isn't affected by it. I'm going the wrong way. Oh, is there? Oh, terrible shot. Anyway, so that's something else working. Uh, I'm going to look at putting windows on this, but uh, I'm not sure if I'll do a video on it. It depends how, if I can make it, that it's uh, it makes sense. Although I think other people have put windows on this before. Certainly Windows 3.1, I'd heard people do it, and I think Windows 98. I'm not sure how well it performed. Anyway, I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.